everybody, welcome back to Photo Beast. Today we have a just very plain looking drone shot right here. And I just want to show you how to make something like this into something beautiful. There's a few things that we want to do. First, we want to come over here and we want to go and look at this horizon. It's got a lot of depth to it, but you can't really see the depth that much. We also have too much foreground down here. This all has to go. We need to get rid of that. So as we get rid of this whole area right here, we're going to focus a lot on this particular area and making sure that it has depth, but it is not blown out. And I repeat, not blown out. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. Now this was shot with the DJI Mavic Air 2S. First thing we're going to do, let's get in here and let's go crop. Let's get our crop ratio first. And I'm going to do a 16 by 9 ratio. We're going to bring this up. We're going to get a lot of the sky. And right where the horizon is, we want to be kind of right in the middle. And what that does is it also gets rid of this extra foreground right here. We don't need all this foreground. So let's move that out of the way. The very next step is I want to go into basic and I'm just going to hit auto. Sometimes you hit auto and Adobe will work magic. Other times it will trash your picture. So we're just going to look at that. We're going to hit auto here for white balance. I'm not liking it. So I'm going to go back to custom. I'm going to add a little bit of magenta, bring back some of the blues right in here. And since we have the blues back, we'll get this back on our own right in here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the exposure back just a tad. And then I'm going to raise the contrast just a little bit. I'm going to pull the highlights down, shadows back down because it looks too fake with their auto. I'm going to go right here, right here with our blacks. You don't want, see this area right here. And when I say right here, this needs to be more in focus than this area this area needs to be somewhat out of focus so we have to do it that way now, Puppy, how did you get screws? sorry my puppy got a hold of the screws here so now what we need to do is focus right sometimes i like to look at presets and just see what they do yeah presets soft beautiful presets not i don't think so now we're going to add some vibrance not too much because we're going to work with our colors down in here we can add a little bit of texture pull back some of the clarity just a little bit and there is some noise in here let's work on our tone curve and see right here is where you get your banding and your bending and that's what i was telling you about so we want to just pull our shadows down just a little bit for highlights pull that down just a little bit for midtones right in there we're not doing an s curve we're doing a wonky curve okay there you go and each one has its own special place now let's look at before after see how we just added that little bit of color and we just added a little bit of black back to the bottom there so we've colorized this but this at the bottom is still very close if you see what i'm saying now next we need to go to detail and if we're going to do any sharpening, do it now. I usually don't do a ton of sharpening for these types of images. I usually leave them. I will sharpen like my bird photography images and things like that. But if there is going to be any sharpening, I don't want it in the skies. So I will pull it out and maybe do something like that. And that way it just shows a little sharpness there. And it's not at all in the sky. There we go. Just going to hit our Alt key and press down the left button on the mouse. Now, here we go. Pull some of the color noise out. A little bit of some luminance. Now, here we go, our color mixer. Here's where the fun happens. Saturation, we go in here. We can just pull that up just a tad and it doesn't mess with anything else. Let's click this one more time. Maybe pull some of the blue just back, back it off just a little bit. And then come over here to the lighter blue and turn that. Go over here to the yellows turn those up let's click somewhere here in the purples see where they're blowing out just back it off once you can see it everybody else can see it so just back it up it's got that little bit of pink right there and it's at 47 I'm actually going to back it out to about 35 32 
Then we have our color grading. I'll do that very last. Here's our calibration. And with calibration, you can just push them up, push them back, see what you like. And let's see, we do a nine there. Fix our greens. I think right about there. Pull this back. So we have this beautiful, beautiful pop sky now, before and after. Look at that. And in the process, not much got done at the bottom. So if I hit the I, I think that's a winner, you know. If you want, you could do some color grading here and uh, go to your shadows. Of course, get some blue in there. Find that sweet, sweet blue. And I think right around there. Turn the luminous down because it is dark. And then pull that saturation just back, just ever so slightly. We have our mid tones. I'm going to skip that and just go to the highlights. Highlights, I want some orange. Here we go. We're going to turn that saturation up. And we can also turn this luminance up because it's bright. It's the sky. See? And that brings our sky to life. Now let's look before, after. And you can see what this did. This was before, that's after. It just gave it that little je ne sais quoi. That little extra. And if you want, go back to your uh, midtones. Or you could just do a global. Maybe add like a little bit more blue. Like it's a blue hour. Or maybe a little bit more more golden for the golden hour you know depends on what time of day you want it to be and just play around with the hues in your saturations a lot of times with this less is more if you want the color to go into the shadows push to the left if you want it to go into the highlights push to the right it's very simple and this is a tool like i said where less a lot of times is more and we could add we could actually add some magenta for our midtones and then back that off and that just adds some pretty pink to the sky right in there a lot of times you get the pinks in there and it's really it's a realistic color you know so let's put that magenta or that pink back and we want that to be luminescent I'm gonna pull the saturation just ever so back on it it's just a little kiss of it and then we're gonna go back to basic and then I'm going to mess with the exposure a little bit I'm gonna make it darker like it's at the end of the day and right about here let's bring the exposure back maybe about half a stop half a stop of light Not too far back right there because then i'll get banding and bending right here to there so how does that look everybody there's our before one last time as you can see it's very mute very plain and there's our after we got our beautiful yellows, our oranges, our magenta, just gorgeous pink flowing through the air right here. We still have our blue and our blue hour. We have our depth right here. And then one of the things you could also do too is take a radial gradient, right? And just run it right through here ever so slightly. Watch this. And then you could actually turn the saturation up maybe five or ten, but down here take your clarity and pull it back maybe 10 see when you pull back to clarity right here what does it do if I turn it all the way you can see it just makes everything blurry so less in focus and guess what anything here is going to be in focus anything out here is going to be out of focus so this is where you're not going to have a lot of stuff in focus so we really don't need a lot of texture or clarity right there you can even dehaze um, to the left basically haze it at this and do all negatives so look at before and after it just that little area see what that did and if you want to kind of shrink it down it's up to you it's your art it's subjective before after let's add a little bit more haze right there before after see and that's how you can just add a little bit of depth to your picture and i think we have a winner so let's go ahead hit enter get out of there and that's it well, guys, my name is Dion. This is Photo Beast. Thank you for joining me today. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and God bless.